It's about the journey, not the destination, said Ralph Waldo Emerson. And what a journey Sir Cecil is taking his owners on. Team Sir Cecil arrived at the picturesque Mysore Race Club where the superstar was scheduled to make his monsoon campaign appearance. In spite of the mock race two weeks ago, the grey looked on his toes and the layoff after the Bangalore summer seems to have freshened him up substantially. But once the tack was in place and he entered the paddock, he looked a pillar of professionalism, as is the nature of champions, and focused on the task at hand. So this is the moment that we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, as Jockey P. Trevor mounts on the superstar Sir Cecil for the second classic of the season here in Mysore, the Mysore 2000 Guineas. As you can see, the runners and riders have paraded in the parade ring and have just made their way to the starting gates, getting onto the track and the owners have just made their way to the beautiful stands here at the Mysore Race Club as the runners and riders are just passing the winning post, making their way down to the starting gates. The superstar, Sir Cecil, is at 10 to 2 on. Then we got a big jump to secretive force, Teodoro and winning heart. have taken their seats and are anxious to wait and watch the star himself Sharmila Padmanabhan takes her glasses it's a pity that Mr. Padmanabhan could not be here today but I'm sure his superstar will not let him down as the runners and riders have reached the starting gates you can see the crowd it's a packed house here in Mysore and they'll all be taking their seats in no time Loading operations to commence any moment from now. Secretive Force will be the first one to be loaded, followed there by Winning Heart, Teodoro stepping in. We're just waiting now for Sir Cecil. Sir Cecil closing here 10 to 2 on, walks in quietly, they all in. They go for the Jayasa Maharaj of the Golf Club Meister 2000 Guineas 2018 and what a beautiful start this is by all the forerunners but as they suck themselves out and as the grey Sir Cecil the leader by about a length and a half in front of secretive forces in second place a length and a half away there we go back to Teodoro a length and a half away Teodoro there is winning half bringing up the rear four they pass the 1200 meter marker and it's Sir Cecil the leader. Bah, but a length and a quarter in front of Secretive Force is in second place. A length away Secretive Force, there's Teodoro in the blue, not too far away. Teodoro is winning hot as they pass the 1000. They approach the 800 meter marker, Sir Cecil, bah, but a length and a half in front of uh, Secretive Force is in second place. Another length and a quarter away is Teodoro. A length and a half away, Teodoro bringing up the rear there is winning heart as they approach the 600. Back to the leader, Sir Cecil, bowling along in front. Bah, but a length and a quarter in front of Secretive Force is in second place. Another two lengths away, we go back to Teodoro, then comes winning heart as they swing around the turn and straight enough for the final run in. Round the turn into the straight 
Then there's the grey sir, Cecil comes in on first He's got a commanding lead of about three and a half Four lengths in front of that Winning half then comes a secretive force And Teodoro Hall is first, Cecil is kicked away He's got a commanding lead now about five, six, seven And going further and further away from a secretive force And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see a superstar You're seeing him now Zervan Sinasu as they can't get within half of a long of a shadow It's first, Cecil is romping home to victory To win the Meister 2000 guineas from secret to fourth, finishes on second, then came my winning heart in a close class, so was Teodoro. So what a win here for Sir Cecil. B. Trevor hasn't really even put him on top gear and just cantered home to victory. One ball at ten lengths from secret to fourth. What a win here for Sir Cecil, the champion, the superstar. Sir Cecil dominated proceedings once again and won as he liked, making this group 3 look like a morning workout. His owner Thakbir Brar was pleased with the performance and full of praise for his team. This was, it was good because uh, when you know at the top of the straight that your horse is clear and everybody else is under the pump and it's nice to sometimes just sit and admire your horse when he's going to win. He's been uh, produced in immaculate condition that goes without saying because that's the sort of operation that Paddy runs. Well, I think he's a lot better than he was in the Bangalore summer. The little bit of time off that we gave him uh, has done him a lot of good. I think he's a far stronger horse. And uh, he's one of those horses who looks like he's still maturing. It's a scary thought because uh, it's all very new to me. Uh, the pressure of ex expectations is always very high. I like the role of the underdog. Earlier on, we've had lots of other good horses, but my father had this sort of experience with uh, Elusive Pimpernel, uh, where you're expected to win everything. You know, I mean, it's, it's a different kind of pressure and I'm just about getting used to it. You'll see him again now on the 21st of October in the Mysore Derby and uh, he'll be saddled by Mr. Padmanabhan himself, we hope. He's well on the men and uh, it'll be lovely to see him leading him in when he wins, hopefully. And uh, see you all then. Yeah.